So welcome everybody to the latest uh, Joe Dale webinar. Today it's my absolute pleasure to be working with uh, Nick uh, Hyder uh, from Match My School, which is a, a very new platform all around uh, promoting collaboration and to help uh, teachers to, to connect with each other in order to do amazing international uh, projects uh, all over Europe and, and further afield, I'm sure as well. So I'm really delighted that Nick has agreed to uh, give this presentation uh, today. I'm sure we're all gonna find it really useful. I would love everybody watching live to put uh, questions in the chat, anything that comes to mind when you're hearing uh, Nick uh, speak. And um, we will, the presentation or so will probably run for about half an hour, but we'll have lots of uh, questions I'm sure after that. And uh, Nick will be more than happy to answer any questions that, that you may have around much my school about international collaboration, et cetera. So without further ado, uh, my absolute pleasure to hand over to Nick and uh, introduce Match My School, Nick. So thank you so much for agreeing to do this. So thank you very much for that very kind introduction and also for, for the invitation to, to, um, to, to, to take part in one of your webinars. It feels a little bit like uh, being with the MFL uh, kind of royalty. So, so, <laughs> oh, so very, very honored to, to be here. Thank you for that. Thank you also to everybody for taking time out of your evening. Um, what I'm going to try and do in the next half hour is um, explain to you about the Match My School platform. I want to talk to you about why and who and what and how the why is kind of why why did we decide we should build it the who is is obviously who who's it for um what it is is clearly uh, part of what we want to get through so you all have a good understanding i've noticed there's a couple of people who've already signed up so we haven't had an, enough chances i think to do training sessions and things so it'd be really useful for those people as well hopefully to see how they they can use it and, and and what the platform is and the how is about how it works and and probably uh most importantly how we hope um, it might be of help to um, to you and your colleagues. So I'm going to try and get through that, um, as we say, in the next 30 minutes or so. Um, please, um, as Joe said, do feel free to ask questions. So to kind of uh, kick off with that, um, Joe, you shout at me if, if people can't see it, but hopefully everyone can see the presentation. What I'd like to do is, is start with a story of, of, of kind of why we started um, and that's not a good start. I can't make the screen change. The story starts with this gentleman here. This gentleman here is my friend Ted. Um, Ted lives in Scunthorpe in um, the north of England, and he knows that I live in Lille in the north of France. And Ted said to me one day, do you know what, Nick, when I was young, I had a pen pal in France. And I used to love um, getting uh, foreign letters in foreign envelopes with foreign stamps and foreign postmarks and understanding or learning how uh, my pen pal did the same things in different ways or did different things in the same ways and sharing with him what I was doing. And it built um, a, a, almost a lifelong friendship and it built a love for, 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 for France and, and for Europe. And I'd like my granddaughter um, to have a similar experience. So would it be possible while you're in Lille to find a pen pal for my granddaughter? Now, we were all a bit cynical because we think, or we thought that kids these days uh, do WhatsApp and do Snapchat and do TikTok and Instagram and all that sort of stuff. But actually what happened after a little bit of looking was that um, his granddaughter Freya uh, found a pen pal in, in Dunkirk, or we, we helped find a pen pal in Dunkirk, and that seemed to go off really well. Um, she was really proud to kind of stand up in front of the class and show some of the stuff she'd, she'd done. Um, and then Ted came back and said, um, you couldn't find another pen pal for my niece this time because my sister's my sister's quite interested. So so we tried again, and 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 in the kind of um, in the, uh, um, the, the amongst the people that we met on this journey was this wonderful lady here, who's a who's an English teacher in a place called Villeneuve d'Ascq just outside Lille, she's a lady called Cecile. And she came, she wrote to me and said, Nick, it's great finding pen pals. You couldn't maybe find me a class to work with. So um, I sat down with Cecile and said, do, do, do you want to explain that? You know, why, and you know, what's, what, what, why, why are you looking for a class? And she said, you know, the power um, and, and, and the joy and the value that the kids get when they can actually share what they're doing with 
children who are or, or students who are using the language that they're learning is so much is so much greater and bigger and more effective and more long lasting than pretty much anything else we do. Um, and and Cecile had, had worked with um, tried to work with UK schools on, on e-twinning and she worked with other schools in other countries. She said it's really hard for us to find uh, teachers in the UK. Um, there's a big demand for them, and, and, and since the e-training platform went away, that, that's become even more difficult. So, um, I'm I'm not from an education background. I'm from a product background. We my my company builds digital products or, or, or works with companies that make products. But it felt like maybe there was a need here. Um, and and in the typical kind of product story, what we what we do is ask people. So so we thought we'd put a little survey together, which is what we did. We we we, we just it was a five minute survey. I think it was eight questions from memory. Um, we, we found teachers on Twitter. Some of you may have been hit by us a, a, a while back on Twitter. And we just ran a survey to say, is this actually a thing? Is this something you might be interested in? And what was quite astounding was, was, was the response that we got. Um, I think in, in, in a very short period of time, we received something like 130 responses from schools in, in, in five European countries, which is kind of where, where we targeted. We put it in, in, into five different languages and tried there. And, and what the school said once you went through it was pretty much consistent across the piece. Um, it was basically... Um, there's a couple of things that are true here. One is that as teachers, we do not have any spare time, not even a lot of spare time. We just don't have any spare time. So to sit down and try to look for a partner school and go through all of the process is really, really difficult. And, 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 and we, just, we just can't get there. Um, the second major finding really that came out from it was even if we could find a time, we don't know where to start. Where you know, where do we look? How how do we go about this? So it, it kind of felt that there was a a need, and that there were some quite consistent things that that people wanted addressed. You know, um, make it quick and 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 put me in touch with people. I unfortunately don't speak German, but I believe the 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 quote. The, these are all, by the way, verbatim quotes that came back from the survey that, that we've put in here. Um, the one at the bottom, I think, says, um, "This is a great idea." why doesn't somebody do it? So we decided we would, and that's what we've done. We, 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 we built a, a small and simple platform called, called Match My School, and obviously that's what we're talking about today. Now, by the magic of, th this is what it looks like in a presentation. What I'm going to do now is try and take you to the platform. And Joe, once again, you shout if I don't get it right. Uh, no, I don't think we're there yet. Let me try again. Um, well, that's not good, is it? Let me try. There we go. That should be it. Right, bingo. Now you can, I think, hopefully see the platform. Um, this is it. It's a very simple, straightforward website. Um, what we've done is we've put it into five different languages to to kind of the, 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 the key markets that we, we got responses from as, as to where we thought there might be an interest and, and where there is a need. Um, and... Um, Basically, in building it, what we try to do is work with people who really understand this. And primarily amongst that was it was a, a lady called Pauline Sterling, who was um, an e-twinning ambassador uh, and, and therefore really kind of could help us understand what teachers are looking for, what works, what doesn't work. You know, the, 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 the do's and don'ts of putting this together. And it was with Pauline's help, really, that we came, um, we, we kind of built the three principles uh, that are the foundation of Match My School. The first is this one here. Teachers are wherever they are, France, Germany, Australia, uh, UK, it doesn't matter. Wherever they are, teachers are busy people. They don't have time to waste. Therefore, the platform needs to be something that's simple, straightforward, easy to use. That was kind of principle one. The second thing is, um, the second principle is that even though there's no uh, data or pictures of students or anything like that, it is a school platform. It needs to be safe. It needs to be secure. And we've spent a lot of time building that into the software, into the systems and into the process. And I am going to spend a little bit of time explaining that to you so, so, so you can understand that. Um, and then the third principle was quite simply you know, we all understand schools in general and language departments in, in particular don't have loads of spare cash swimming around to, to, to spend on subscriptions and, and, and other things. Um, and where they do, they have to be, you know, very careful about what they choose. So we needed to make the platform free. 
and that's what we've done. So hopefully what you'll see is something that's relatively uh, simple. As I've said, I'm going to take you through the, the, the levels of safety that we've, we've built into it across the piece. Um, and to be clear, this is a free service for all teachers everywhere. So if I then talk about um, how, how it kind of works, it's very simple. Uh, the first thing you do is register, simple process, and, and we'll go through that very quickly. We then run checks to ensure that every single user of the platform is a bona fide teacher or a bona fide educator in the establishment that they've told us they belong to. Um, so we do a number of checks to, to, to go through that. Once you're checked and you're on the platform, you have the ability to update your profile, to put photos of yourself of your school on there, to, to um, uh, if, if you add a new class, you can you can put that on there. If you have a special project that you'd like someone to, to, to work with you on, you, you can put detail about that on there. So you can, you, you can update your profile and make it as relevant to what you're looking for as possible and so that other teachers can see it and understand what, what you're interested in. And then the, the final step is quite simply um, that you're able to use the platform to look for the kind of teachers or the kind of class or the kind of project that you think would be of value to yourself, to your students, to the classes that you're working with. Um, it's, it's, um, it's no more complex than that. And I think we need to be, I'd like to be kind of really clear what we haven't built is a learning platform. This isn't a learning management system. There isn't a huge collaboration area. You can't um, upload and, and share documents on here. There are a hundred other platforms that do that way better than, than we ever could. The problem we were trying to solve here was exactly the one that came out of that survey. Where can I find teachers and how can I contact them? And, and that's all we've tried to do here. We've tried to put together um, contacts uh, for teachers in a way that you can, you, you, you can message them. To, 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 to kind of put it in a, in, in a slightly flippant way, what we've created is a dating site for uh, language teachers with initiative. Um, and and, and I'll, I'll show you how that, how that kind of all works. So um, the first thing that, that people need to do is go in and register. So if I click on here, um, you get a simple registration form, he says, there we go. Um, and what the registration asks for is initially, you know, give us your stuff, your email address, choose a username. Then we want information on your school, the name of your school, the school website address, um, the email address of the school. So we can check with people and we'll show you how we do that afterwards. Um, most schools um, across Europe have some sort of uh, unique reference number. I think in France it's called something like, hang on, I think we've got it in here, UAI or something strange like that, excuse me. Um, so so we, we, we ask for that as well. Um, and then the, the information we're looking for is, okay, what are you trying to do? So tell us about the country that you're in. Tell us uh, the age or ages of the class or classes that you're teaching. Um, which languages are your students learning? Um, and again, we've, we, th these are the ones we're kicking off with um, and the ones that the site is translated into. We have used the um, European standard for identifying language proficiency to give you the opportunity to kind of pitch the, where, where your students are in their language journey. Um, what we've been told by, by people that you know we, we've worked with is sometimes it's not exactly an age match that you're looking for, but it's more a language proficiency match. So there may be a couple of years difference in the ages of the students, but, but uh, their, their language proficiency is more or less at the same, at the same level. Um, then, you know, choose the projects that you want to be involved in. These were the ones that came out during the survey. Uh, but if, if, if it's none of those, that's fine. If you've got something completely different that you'd like to do, that's also fine. Um, you just, you know, put that in there. You agree to our terms of service um, and you complete the sign up. So that really is, is what, what we look for. Um, on the on the registration process. I'm not going to do one live because it'll take some time and it's quite boring, but what I will do is, is talk you through what happens next. Um, and, and there we go. So what will happen next is when you go through that process, Joe, stop me if you're not now seeing, uh, we're back in the, the um, presentation. No, no, it's um, all good, it's all good. Good, good. So at the end of the registration process, you get this web page that says, check your email to activate your account. Um, and you go to your email and you will have received something like this. This is all test stuff uh, for obvious reasons. Um, you will receive um, 
uh, an email which uh, does the first step of validation for us. It's validating your email account. Now, that's nothing innovative or anything you haven't seen with a hundred other applications that you use, but it is the first step for us to ensure that this is a bona fide email account. You go through that and you activate your account. So you, you click on the link, it takes you to the platform to activate your link or activate your account, excuse me. Um, and then you're now on the platform. But you receive an email that says you can't use the platform yet because we're checking you. And this is the next stage of the um, of the process. Um, if somebody does try to get onto the platform before they've been checked, they see a page that looks like this in whatever language they've, they've joined in, basically saying you're on the platform, but you can't use it until we've completed all of the security checks. And the checks we do are, we've asked for the, the, the website, we'll go and look for a website. Um, not all countries, uh, not all schools in all countries have websites, but most do. So that's the first kind of line of defense where there's a staff list. We'll go and check the staff list to make sure that the, the name that we've got and, and the school and the role kind of match up. We, we, we showed you that we're looking for a unique reference number. It's the same thing. We check those against the, the, the national databases to make sure that those things add up. And then the final step, and fundamentally the most important one, is that for every um, applicant we write to the school um, and we ask them, um, you know, if we use an example, Joe Dale has said that he is a member of staff at the Joe Dale Academy. Um, can you please corroborate that this is the case? And we will not put anybody on the platform until we have received that from the official school um, email address or you know, the school office. We, we, we typically write to the, to the head of the school, the director, the provisor, whatever it might be. Um, sometimes these things kind of get stuck in a queue. Um, so we'll send, a, we'll send a reminder after a couple of weeks and that tends to, to, to get the response as well. But um, actually the process has been, as, as Joe has said, we're, we're kind of in the early days, but the process is working relatively well. But that is, if you like, the final stage after which... Um, you will receive an email which says, well done, you're now on the platform um, and you can, you can start to use it. So, so that's, that's pretty much the, the, the people checks we do. I'm just going to take a moment to talk about the rest of the, the, the kind of safety and security. As we said, one of our core principles here is that this needs to be safe for you as users and for everybody else. So we've talked through the people piece. We validate every email. Uh, we check the school data, et cetera, et cetera. On the data side, we will never, ever, ever share your data with anybody else. We don't sell the stuff. This is a not-for-profit venture. Um, the only reason we need your data is to, to go through the registration process, as I've just showed you, and for you to be able to find other teachers and for them to be able to find you. Everything is fully GDPR compliant, and we will we, 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 keep it that way. In terms of the software itself, uh, we, we patch all of the software and all of the plugins regularly. We have malware detection running daily. And in terms of the, the servers that it sits on, um, the host that we use, uh, that the, all of the system is, is hosted in, in the Netherlands, actually, um, that's managed and, and vulnerabilities are checked on a daily basis. We also actually have gone a step further and we um, engaged a cybersecurity firm to come and do what they call penetration tests, which is basically attack our system, try and hack your way in and see how we go uh, or see how you go. And I'm pleased to say that um, we received a kind of the, the, a clean bill of health last week. They, they ran through it for us. Um, we've got no critical issues. We've got no high, higher is issues, et cetera, et cetera. That was the name of the company, just for information. And, and this is just an example of um, the daily logs that we get that telling us there's no malware there, things are good, et cetera, et cetera. So, Sorry for taking a, a little bit of a digression there, but I think it's important that, you know, the, the principle of safety is very much at the core of everything that we do. So hopefully that has shown you what the platform is, what the principles were, who it's for, um, and, and how you get on there. I'm now going to show you how you can use it. But before I do, I might stop and Joe ask if there are any questions at this stage or, um, I'll, you know, we, we, we can actually jump onto the platform and, and show how you can find a teacher there. Yeah. Joe, first, what, what, first of all, thanks ever so much for that really interesting uh, presentation. Um, we've had a couple of questions um, so far. The first question uh, is the following from um, Helen, uh, which is, Hi, Nick, our students are first language Welsh speakers. 
uh, is yeah. it possible to include this too in the interface? I suppose that you could maybe, you'll be getting lots of people maybe suggesting this language and that language. And I appreciate there's only a fine amount, uh, you know, hours in the day, as it were. But that's this is the question. Can this be included too? They are also learning English, French, and German as their second, third, and fourth languages. How inclusive is the registration process? So that's actually a great question, isn't it? That, that is a great question. It, it, it kind of it kind of points us to to a little bit about ourselves. Um, th this this platform is, is is a labor of love. We we have kind of financed this ourselves, um, and uh, you know th th there's no, no no one else is helping us with this. We felt having looked at that survey and because uh, because we believe just as my friend Ted does in international collaboration and that kids everywhere should have the chance to talk to kids everywhere and, and learn about each other's cultures. Um, we felt we should put this platform up there. So we've kind of done it um, as professionally as we can. We've invested actually a, a not insignificant amount of money, but we've had to stay focused because we, we, we just can't go too wide. The other, the other reason, you know, as, you, as, as you're all aware, when you launch a product, you need to kind of do the first stage, make sure that all works, and then keep going from there. So I suppose the answer, I think it was to Helen's question is, yeah. you know, we would love to put Welsh on there. At this stage, we need to, this is really phase one, we've just launched the thing. We need to kind of get a, a body of, of, of users on there and focus on that. But at the point where, um, you know, we, we, we can expand and and if, if Welsh is, is the most kind of highly demanded language, then, then we'll happily put that on there. Ideally, I'd love to have everything on there. You know, why, why not? But, but uh, we're constrained by what we can physically do and what we can afford and, and etc. Excellent, excellent answer. Uh, on that point, when we're talking about funding and, and charges, and you were saying about it, it's really important that it's free. Are, are you saying that there are no plans for it ever to not be free? Or are you saying it will be free forever? Uh, what we're saying is that it will be free forever for teachers. Absolutely. Amazing. Uh, you know, what, what we've done, <laughs> as I've said, is off the back of passion, we've said, you know, I'm fortunate, I run a company, we're able to to, 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 to fund this, okay? Yeah. At some point we may look for sponsorship, there may be other ways of doing this. We do not want to be selling advertising, um, but what, 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 you know, the, the, of the three principles, one of them is firmly uh, for this to work and to be inclusive across, as far as it can go, it will remain free for teachers. Amazing, that's really good. So obviously if teachers then devote time and energy and put information, et cetera, onto the site. And then it suddenly, they realize that they're not able to use it anymore because then there's a charge, but to, um, then that's- That, 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 is, yeah. that is not, that is absolutely not, never, got, that is not the intention. Brilliant, absolutely not. okay, lovely. We've got another couple of questions that come up um, just now as well. Um, so yeah, for example, from what I've understood, there is no need to upload students' personal information or the collaborative work they're developing that's that's actually the case isn't it so what would you recommend uh, 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 let's uh, say uh, once once teachers have connected with each other that what would you recommend in uh uh what the what they would then do if they want to then collaborate with classes that's not what this site is about is it? it's about connecting teachers isn't right it? so so uh, again we come back to where we started from there was a distinct problem we don't know where to we haven't got the time and even if we did we don't know where to go so that's what this hopefully answers we were very clear, again, because we have to focus, we don't have huge resource, we're not going to build it as a collaboration platform or whiteboards or anything else, for two reasons. The first is exactly that, it's not what we do. And the second is, through COVID, and even before COVID, there are there are hundreds of other platforms that, that you know, you as a technology expert in MFL, Joe, know, know more about than anybody uh, that exist, that are designed specifically, that work. So what you'll see when we go into the platform is the one thing that teachers can do other than finding each other is message each other, you know, back and forth and talk about stuff. So if they want to use it as a messaging platform between each other, that's fine. At this stage, we don't have any intention to, 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 to make it a place where they can upload stuff or store stuff or, or whatever else. Over time, those things may change if it works, if it's successful, if teachers come back, just as you know, Helen's question, can we have it in Welsh? Maybe a question might be, could we have a whiteboard or could we have something else? Those are things that we wouldn't say never to, but at the moment, as we're standing today, that's not what this has been designed for and that's not what it's for. Uh, and, and there are, you know, as, as, as we said, hundreds of other platforms that do all those other things infinitely better than we probably could. Awesome. That's fantastic. Well, I think that's all the questions so far. So let's have a look at the website and, and get a better understanding right. of how things act, actually work. That'd be amazing. Right. So 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 what we've done is we, we've seen how we can register. What I'm now going to try and do is take you back to the platform. 
and uh, yeah, this is the test platform and show you how um, show you how you can use it. So once you've registered, you can log in. Um, this is a login. He says playing to the gods of the um, live demo. And, and all of these are made up names, aren't they? Before anyone gets uh, a bit worried. <laughs> Uh, there we go. It hasn't worked. Let me try again. Uh, indeed, all of these are. Oh, that's why, because I didn't put a proper domain in there. Let me try again. Marvellous. Right. All of these are made up names. Everybody you will see is a, is a fictitious character. And all of the pictures are either, just so I'm clear, uh, writers, footballers or actors. OK, so 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 we'll see all of that. So so you, you log into the platform. Um, so I've just logged in as, as, a, as a person that we called Suzanne Tester because we were doing testing. So this is Suzanne. I can't remember where I got this picture from. I believe that she's an actress of some or well, that picture is of an actress. But but the, the point isn't that the point is that in, in Suzanne's account in Suzanne's profile, we can see all of the stuff that happened on the registration. This is her name. This is a fictitious academy that she works at. There is a fictitious URN that we've checked. She's got a a class which is probably in, in UK terms year six, so 10 year olds and 11 year olds, they're learning French and Spanish, um, probably at the kind of um, basic user stage. And she's quite happy to twin with a class or, or whatever else. So that, that's Suzanne's profile. The thing that we would say, or, or that I said earlier, is you know, as, as a user of the platform, um, you can, if things change, if you get a different class, you can change the age groups. If you start learning Italian because there's a, you know, that, 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 that you, you, you've got the resource to do that, whatever else it might be, um, you, 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 all of these things can be updated. And similarly, and we would encourage everybody, there's a couple of areas which we didn't want to put in the registration field because registration you want to make as short as possible but now is the time to be a bit more expensive about the school perhaps and the ethos of the school and what you try and do if it's in Spain it might be a, a special language school EOI it, you know if it's um, in a special area of the country wherever it might be in Germany you could talk about that um, and similarly about the projects that you're looking for etc cetera, etc cetera. so th this is an area for you to um, to update your, your profile. One thing we would ask everybody to do, and what we've seen on the live platform so far as most people haven't, is to, to actually put a photograph and, and to put a kind of background image because if we go to kind of the um, pictures of all the members, sorry if I take that filter out, it looks a lot more fun if, if, we've, got, um, if we've got nice pictures as opposed to just these kind of blank avatars with, with, with a name against them. So, so um, You've seen that that's the, the person's profile. What you can do is you can come and have a look. You could either browse uh, alphabetically um, on any one of these things, or you could see who's been um, most active or uh, potentially someone's just registered and you might want to go and see who they are and say hello, whatever that might be. Um, but but with with all of the people there, we you know we can Enrique here looks like a nice guy. Uh, we can click on on his profile and and just as we did with our own profile, uh, we can see who he has. What the difference here is obviously we can't edit this. We can't see his personal email address, but we can see you know which school he's at. That he's in Spain. That he's got older uh, kids and that they're learning three different languages and they're actually quite quite proficient, etc. 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 So that's that that's kind of how how you see about the teacher. Um, and you know where they are and, and what they're doing. The other point, um, and probably the, the last and most important point I'd make to you is that wherever you go on the platform, or pretty much wherever you go on the platform, you always have this uh, icon here on the right hand side, which is the search icon. Um, and as well as what we've just done, just looking at members and browsing, the way you can find teachers is by using the search icon. Um, and you've got a couple of things you can either uh, put in a piece of text. So I might look for Spanish teachers or people have got Spanish in their details. And this one tells me that David Stevens does. So if I look at David Stevens, oh, let me try again. If I look at David Stevens, there he is. And if I look at his profile, hopefully, there we go. He's got kids learning Spanish. So if I was Enrique and um, he's got kids learning Spanish and I'm Enrique in Spain and I've got kids learning English there, there we go, because David's in the UK. That would be, you know, that would be a good um, a good place to start, and that would be one way of, of, of finding people. Once again, let me go back to the the, um, the search area. The other thing is to use the filters, and again, these are the filters that are taken from the registration thing. So what we could do is actually say, no, I want to be more specific about my search. I want, I'm looking for eleven year olds because that's who I'm teaching. 
um, they're studying uh, French and maybe Spanish. Um, my kids have just started, so they're kind of at a relatively basic level. Um, oh, so we're now down to three and um, probably what I've just, I just want to twin with the class and see where we can get to. So let's see who's interested in that. So I'm Suzanne, if you remember. So now I've got two choices. So what I can do is I can go to see Cecile. Those of you in France will know that this is, um, I think she's called uh, Cecile de France, who's a, actually a Belgian actress, but very famous in France. Oh, well, that's her picture. Um, and what I could do is I've, I've, I've seen Cecile. I think she's kind of in, in, the, in the ballpark I'm looking for. Yep, she's, she teaches, she's got French, they're learning English. This is all good. This is what I want there, A1 basic users. So what I could now do is click on this and send her a message, just fill in, you know, twinning school, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, uh, and she will get a message. And what I can do, because we've done one earlier, is as opposed to sending Cecile a message, the other person on that list was this guy Sven. And guess what? Isn't that funny? On the test platform, he's already sent Suzanne, he's already sent me a message. Um, and I can just show you how that works. So we'd lo log in. And so that Suzanne has received this from Sven, blah, blah, blah. Hi, Susanna. Um, yeah, kids six studying French with you. So she could very easily reply. I don't know what she could reply. That would be really interesting. Uh, when is a good time to talk with? with I can't even spell. Can I with this day after Lilian's best for me? How about that? Something like that. Great to meet you. Let's be friendly, shall we? Great to meet you. And then she can sign her name. I can't even remember how to put her name over the nest. There we go, Suzanne. And she can send that off to Sven Bosch. And there we go. That's that's what's going on. That's the bit that, you know, when I was saying you can message each other, and those messages can go on and on forever. Um, the, the last thing I'm going to try and show you is that what will happen with that is if we go back to our um, PowerPoint, there it is, what would have happened uh, when Sven sent that initial um message to to Suzanne from the platform she received it in the platform as you saw but she also receives an email saying guess what there's a guy called Sven who sent you a message about joint lessons um etc cetera, etc cetera. so that that really is is you know um there yeah, we go joint lessons there it is so she'd click on that and come back in here and that, that's where we go so that in essence is is is, is it um, as we said it, we wanted to keep it simple we wanted to make it straightforward we wanted to answer one particular problem which is where do I find people um, and hopefully at least it's a start there we go I think it's fantastic I'm, I'm sure we're going to get some more questions um, coming in but a couple of questions that come to mind is on the interface you showed us a moment ago it said yeah. uh, message and uh, mention can you explain how the mention option works and also it was saying about notifications are are you able to set it up so that uh, you can filter notifications or is it a question once you turn notifications on that you'll get lots and lots because I know that some people depending on the website they're using if they right. turn on notifications they can get bombarded by notifications of every single thing that changes can you yeah. filter those notifications so you only be notified if for example you have a new message or that sort of thing yes so so the, the answer to the second question is yes you can you 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 can choose what you what you want to do in in the, in the profile area you, you you can kind of set those preferences that's the first thing and update your email address and all those other things coming back to the mention interestingly we had we had somebody uh, write to us last week it was saying um i i'd, I'd like to i'd like to join um, actually they were they've been really nice i'd like to join but i can't find my school urn so explained how to find it and that was fine and by the way i'd like to add some colleagues on how can i do that well the answer is i'm afraid we have to check everybody so they all have to register individually but in that case that might be a place where that teacher i think she was called lisa could say uh, she could mention so she could use the mention to say by the way joe and by the way sarah i've you know if she's connected with a school in spain she might want to bring those into the conversation so they can see so it, it, it's very much that kind of bringing someone in as you might be aware as you might be used to doing in, in other social media fantastic that's lovely and in the registration process as well it was talking about was it unique school identification number is that right so yeah, for those people yeah, that yeah. don't know what that means could you maybe sort of suggest on 
what a teacher so, would have so, to do to, to find out that that answer um we so so we exactly we got that question last week and and the answer is it'll be on an ofsted report or or um on on, on seriously um yeah. or, or yeah. On, on if so for uk schools um in different countries it differs um we'll, we'll be honest this, this stuff's in the public domain so actually if somebody was um trying to to, 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 to cheat the system, they could find the data as well and they could give us a, a valid URN. We put it there as just an additional hurdle. Uh, we have had a couple of teachers that said, I really can't find it. And the answer is, if we can check everything else out, then, then and, and, and fundamentally the key thing that matters is the school responds and says, Joe Dale works at our school. Yeah. Um, so so it, it, it's just there as, a, as an added um, kind of hurdle for those that, that, that can't get it, but, but we, we, we're not too stringent with it just because we don't need to be fantastic that's, okay. that's brilliant um so for the for, for everyone watching right now if there are any other questions please put them in the in the chat i see a couple of you are having to uh, make a move which is absolutely fine but if any if anybody has any other questions nick is here live with us who can then explain um any any thoughts or any questions that you might have um this is a perfect opportunity to to put questions to uh, to Nick, but or, I think or I've, any or any comments or feedback or any comments really, or any feedback, yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Um, can I can I ask the question about how? Um, I know you sort of said about it's you know it's like early days for the website. How many mm. schools are there at the moment, for example, from different European countries? For uh, you know, if, let's say if there's a there's a teacher right now thinking, okay, I'm a I'm a French teacher, I want to connect with um, a school in France. How many schools are on the site at the moment? Right, so that, that, that's a that's a great question, and that actually helps us with with one of the things that one of our conundrums. Um, at the, so 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 the the answer um, in 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 numerical terms is I think we're up to forty eight people have signed up. This is with no marketing, right? This is just by the message leaking out a little bit. What we're now starting to do. Um, last week, we wrote to every lycée in the in the uh, north of France. Uh, we'll now be right to all every kind of uh, primary school, maternal school and and, and uh, every college, et cetera, et cetera. And we're trying to, with the resource that we have, which isn't huge, to to do the same with, with, with Spanish schools and German schools, et cetera. So, so the outreach is starting now. We're kind of in, in a chicken and egg situation where um, where uh we can't get people on the platform until there are people on the platform but there won't be people on the platform until there are people on the platform so yeah. it, it, it's a little bit sparse at the moment we've got we've got um a, 47 people have gone through the 48 people have gone through the process of those i think something like 32 or 33 have been um checked by you know the, the school have written back to us because a lot of them are stuck while we're waiting for the school to, to come back um, primarily, I mean, it's probably 80% is uh, UK teachers, um, but there's there's kind of uh, probably 15% is there's a, there's a few, and it is a few, it's a handful of French teachers. One went on today, fortunately, um, another teacher from France, and there's a couple from Spain. Um, but we're, as I say, we're at, we're at the beginning we had to build it first then launch it and now we're just going to go and get get people so you know if anybody on the call can help with spreading the word um retweeting or, or you know just letting people know then then that, that's that's really going to help us because we don't unfortunately have a massive marketing um budget to to, to, to really push this hard we did actually um approach people like the um the uh, the spanish embassy and, and and their educational department and they were really helpful but they, they came back to us and said look we're not allowed to help you because even though you're a not-for-profit you're still you know you, you're still a company and, and and therefore we can't do it so we're having to find our way as we go through so it is early days and we have to be honest with people um they might need to be patient when they join what we're trying to do actually to fix it or, or, or to kind of compensate for that at the moment is if we see i don't know a french primary teacher come on and we see people who've asked for a french primary teacher we from from the platform we go say by the way guess what um we did that last week there's a spanish teacher who's just come on who i think has got kids of the same age as you're looking for well, and, and that actually worked, worked quite well last week. I think we connected two schools that way last week. But it, but it is, Joe, to be honest, we're, we're early days, so there aren't a lot of people on there. Awesome. We just had a lovely comment from Duncan saying, this is such a fantastic idea, Nick. May I just uh, say a huge thank you on behalf of everybody who will benefit from this. I, tend to, I intend to spread the word. So that's fantastic, I'm sure. Thank you so much, Duncan. I really through, appreciate that. Through word of mouth, we'll be able to spread the word. We've had a great question from Penny from the States saying, just double checking, is this uh, available for schools in the USA as well? What would your answer be to that, uh, Nick? 
Right. My, my answer, Penny, is, as we said, we, we, we thought, look, we're, we're small. We've got to keep focus. We've got to build something that works and see where we go. But absolutely. I mean, you know, it is would, 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 would a French teacher or a Spanish teacher or as in a teacher in Spain or in Germany or in Austria want to, to work with a school in the US? I am sure they would. Is there any reason why why kids in the US won't want to talk to, to kids in France and learn from them? Absolutely not. So, yes, it is. It wasn't designed that way. Uh, but, that, but but but, you know, if, if it would actually, I think, help if we can start to say there's schools in the UK, there's schools in Ireland and there's schools in the US if you're looking for English speaking. So absolutely penny it's, it's it's pretty much open to everybody it, coming back to helen's question earlier we won't be able to, to put it in every language certainly not immediately um so 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 it will definitely kind of stay with the five languages you've got for, for the foreseeable future but uh, but everybody's welcome new zealand australia azerbaijan everybody's welcome <laughs> that's lovely amazing uh, delphine has said it looks amazing and i can't wait to start i would love to hear from schools already paired to see how they are doing it practically. So maybe something in the future, we could have some case studies maybe on the website, just to, yeah, uh, yeah. just to, so, and, um, and yeah, you know, information whereby teachers could then get in contact with those people and ask them questions, but some sort of maybe case study, as it were, I think that's a really good idea. Thank you. Uh, uh, Delphine we, 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 we'll definitely try and do that what happened was was while we were building the platform we had a couple of teachers say could you help us and we actually did it by email we put you know that, that the lady Cecile that you saw we put her in touch with a school I think in Canby Island in the UK and and, and there were a couple of Spanish schools we, 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 we teamed up as well what we, we'll try and go back and find them and see if they've got any kind of history already um, but but definitely Delphine, Delphine is absolutely um, kind of perfect feedback for us you know in three months time or four months time or however long it takes we'll go back and do some surveys and say how's it going what's working what isn't and we'll really happily share that and put it on blogs and things yeah that's fantastic i maybe, think maybe um, maybe, yeah. maybe joe you could do a webinar then and we could we could we could talk about that then. absolutely yeah I, I would love to do that i think that would be really 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 cool um i think yeah testimonials you know uh, mm -hmm. teachers watching this i'm sure they would love to hear from other uh, teachers maybe have match my school ambassadors um to you know people who are registered on the site who can who can connect with other teachers to uh, support and help um and i very much appreciate its early days but moving forward that'd be something else i think that would be really uh effective and a way of encouraging other people to uh to sign up to the platform but i think this has been really really useful to give people uh an understanding of how it works and uh how stringent you are about safety which is of course absolutely key but it's really fantastic to see how that works um, uh, in, in practice and all the all the, the layers of security that you've put in place. I think it's brilliant. Just wonder if anyone else has any more questions. Um, we're coming up to about 45 minutes. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat right now. Um, is there anything else that you haven't mentioned, Nick, that, you, that you'd like to mention now, maybe? Anything that um, you've forgotten? <laughs> No, I mean, just, you know, being completely honest, it's a new platform, it's early stage, there are going to be glitches there, please bear with us, please, please feed back to us, uh, you know, have no mercy, M make us make it better, um, and, 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 and maybe be, be patient with us as well, because, as I say, we're, we're a very small team, and we're doing the best we can with, with, with what we've got, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the the question from Helen, the, the question from Penny in the States, you know, all of that stuff will help us think about how we need to build it and change it and improve it uh, once we've got it bedded in and once we've got we've got numbers on the platform. So so please don't 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 hesitate. Lovely. Well, we, we again, we've got some lovely, um, lovely comments. We just had Marion saying thank you so much. Simple is best for simple teachers. <laughs> there we are. Um, I think well, I think it's busy teachers, isn't it? Uh, making it simple for busy teachers. Exactly. All yeah. those uh, bit, bit those busy teachers. Yeah, we're, we're the simple ones, but the, the teachers are busy. So so uh, yeah, we, that's lovely. That Alberto saying yeah. just waiting for my account to be approved. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Such a great project. Many thanks. That's great. Uh, yeah, just some lovely comments at the end. So I think unless any, anyone else has any questions for uh nick we'll just give it another minute or so can, can, can i just ask can i just ask one question actually of course to 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 to, to, to people like albert and maybe delphine from from kind of a background and i, I know there was someone else from uh, Spain and France. Um, one of the things we're struggling with is who do we approach where in each country to help us get the word out. So if there's any 
uh, if there's any kind of um, what's the word um, um, tricks or, or, or um, local knowledge, uh, tips, maybe t- 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 tips that people can give us yeah. to say in Spain it works like this. This is the best way, or in Germany the the, the right way to do this is regionally or locally or, or whatever else. Any any guidance we can get um, w- would be really helpful because we want to. Um, we, we, we want to get it out there as, as, as quickly as possible and, and, and get as many people on the platform as we can. Amazing. I see Muriel's just written, going to sign up tomorrow. This is wonderful. I'm going to ask my friend in Spain to spread the word. That's that's it. I think we just need to spread the word. That's, that's what we need. Please, please, that's please. Perfect. Tweet, tweet, Instagram, whatever it is. Um, and and, and, and uh, be merciless with us. If it doesn't work for you, tell us what we need to do to fix it. Awesome. Okay. Well, I think we don't have any more questions now. So I would just like to say hand on heart. Thank you so much, Nick, for coming along and sharing uh, the the platform with us and, and inspiring lots of people in the chat as you can as you can see I think um, everyone's found it really really useful and um, can't can't wait to, to to get their account approved and can't wait to to get started I think there's I think what you've done here you you've identified an issue a problem and you've tried ever so hard to to solve that problem and making it completely free free forever for teachers there we are it's been recorded it's it's a quote there famous quote no uh, with that. free forever for educators then um i just think it's all good really it's, it's it's great so thank you so much on behalf of everyone watching this uh either live or in the recording and again lots of people in the chat are saying thank you thank you this is lovely um it's just great so th- yeah thank you so much for your time nick and for everything that you're doing and can't we see can't wait to see how the uh, the platform expands and changes um, in the future, and um, and and yeah, and let's just spread let's just spread the word. I think it's a, it's a really awesome thing that you've done here, and um, I'm yeah, sure lots for, of teachers for, as for, a result of this will will sign up and get involved. Yeah, for, 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 from my side, Joe, from myself and my wife. My wife works with schools, and she's part of the team that, 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 that's built this. Um, we, we we know how much how hard teachers work. We know how much enthusiasm there is for this stuff to to, to, to happen, and, and we just felt that this needed to be there. So thank you to you for giving us the platform. It's really helpful at this stage, you know, to, for us to get the word out. And thank you to everybody who's who's been patiently listening to me drone on and on and on for the last whatever it is, 47 minutes. Okay, no problem at all. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. Thanks to, to Nick for, for his time today. Uh, really inspirational webinar, lots of food for thought, and um, I'm sure we'll all be signing up, uh, if not already right now, certainly uh, in the next few days. Uh, awesome stuff. So that's lovely. I'm going to stop recording now. And um, oh, I'll, and I'll be uh, for those people that, that maybe are new to how these work, I'll be uploading the recording onto my YouTube channel, which is available at Joe Dale 100. Um, so just go onto YouTube and do a search for Joda 100 and I will put it up either this evening or uh, first thing tomorrow morning UK time and you'll be able to watch it back, share the link with with contacts here, there and everywhere all around the world and um, let's uh, get really behind this this platform because it's fantastic.